What's up guys? Welcome to another Tita tutorial. I'm Tita James and on today's episode we'll be talking about baseline dyno tuning and performance dyno tuning. I'll be telling you about what it is, where to get it, and why it's important to you. So if you want to learn more, tune in. Get it? Tune? Ha -ha! Alright, so first up, what is baseline dyno tuning. Well, baseline dyno tuning is trying to get a baseline of the power that's coming out of your car. We know from the manufacturer's specifications that certain cars will come out with their claimed horsepower and it's more or less correct, but you need to still baseline dyno it because when you are making modifications to your car, you want to know that these modifications are actually doing something. It's not subjective. It's not just a feeling you get. You have actual documented measurements for the success that you have. Remember, these upgrades aren't cheap, so you're going to want to make sure each one is accounted for. So with that in mind, now that you understand baseline dyno tuning, we're now going to walk in to performance dyno tuning. Now the only difference with dyno tuning or the advantages of dyno tuning is horsepower is always measured at the crank or the engine horsepower but that's different from what actually ends up at the wheel. See there's a lot of energy loss in between there and the wheel through the drivetrain so they're two different figures. What they measure at Dyno Pro over here is the horsepower at the wheel. That's literally the power that goes to the ground. That's what matters. Everything else that evaporates is kind of like inflation. You don't want that, right? So now that you have it tuned in and you've got the performance dyno, you can make adjustments in real time. And this is where it really, really pays dividends because when you're spending a fortune on stuff like ECU boxes, turbochargers, and it just skies the limit for these things, they say, speed costs money how fast you want to go you want to make sure all of those upgrades are quantifiable so here the tuner can tweak the box and see the actual performance gain real time so they can change the mapping and go well if we just put the map curve like this it ends up with more power like that and it's all substantiated and verified by the dyno machine and this is where it becomes smart money because you're protecting your investment you're quantifying each and every upgrade that you make and this is why dyno tuning is so important so next step where can you get it well we're here at the mindanao avenue branch of dyno pro philippines now for those in the south don't worry got you covered sukat parnake also has a branch of the exact same machine and same technology same know-how. So this is where you want to go if you want to establish a baseline dyno and you want to do some dyno tuning. They've got the state-of-the-art equipment here. Everything is top of the line. So there you have it, the basics of dyno tuning and baseline tuning. Think of it as sort of an accounting system for your endless passion for power. <laughs> Another great thing about Dyno Pro is they have a lot of dyno machines for four-wheel vehicles, but our two-wheel brothers and sisters kind of always get left out in the cold. It's very, very hard to find one. Well, they have more than one over here. This is just one of the 10 machines that they have, a Dyno Pro, that cater also to motorcycles. So if you want to tune your motorcycle, you can also do it that way. One last thing before I let you go, I think it's also equally important to say that this is not just for the tuners. You see, a lot of people think this is money spent for people who are upgrading their systems and spending fortunes and going fast. But this also does serve a purpose for people who just want to have their cars running at the optimum. It could be your Toyota Innova or your Hilux or your pickups or anything like that that you just want to make sure is running at tip-top condition so you get the best possible fuel consumption out of it and of course the best possible wear and tear. Keeping your engine running in optimum condition and making sure that you have graphs that support that and all those power sources are verified, then you know you're in good hands. So, till next time, this has been Tito James for an another tea tutorial. I'll catch you again. Till then, drive safely everybody.